Hello, this is Dr. Michael Carter, Chief Medical Officer for uh, GoMD. I'm the uh, Chief Medical Officer specific for functional medicine. I'm going to be interviewing Dr. Thomas Lewis, who is our Chief Science Officer for GoMD. And we're going to be discussing our immune risk uh, back to work, stay at work platform. So, Dr. Lewis, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Dr. Carter. Thanks so much. Good, good. So, Tell us uh, why is this uh, test so important to um, get out to the, the corporations? Well, it's really the only test that gives individuals something actionable to improve their risk against COVID-19. So for example, exposure is likely, it's a virus, so we all get the cold, we all get the flu. People with diabetes, obesity, heart disease, cancer, respiratory diseases, die at much higher rates and have much more illness associated with COVID-19. And those with multiple diseases die even sooner. So the, the difference really is in the blood testing, and it's been shown in COVID-19 that inflammation, so-called cytokines, and immune health really dictates how severe your symptoms will be. So therefore, we can predict in people how severe they'll be. And more importantly, our testing reveals in your population those with hidden risks that aren't necessarily revealed with your standard testing. Very good, very good. So, so who is uh, using this, uh, these tests at this point? It, it's interesting, we're really pretty novel in this space, but Harvard Medical School teaching hospitals like Mass General, when someone comes into the hospital with COVID-19, they're using a testing protocol similar to the one we're presenting to risk stratify those that are in hospital. In other words, you know, some are very, very severe and need immediately to be triaged and helped, and though there are others that can be uh, that can wait a while. So it's all in the blood testing that reveals those risks. So as far as I can tell, we're the only ones bringing this type of triage, say, risk stratification testing to the general population to help make better policy decisions on go to work and back to work in population. Okay, very good. And then what happens after the testing? Uh, so, what, what does one do? Yeah, right, so the thing is what we do is actionable, whereas if you do a PCR, you know you have it, all you can do is isolate, for example, or stay home. But these tests give us actionable data to improve your health. So for example, everybody gets a risk grade, so they know where they are on a continuum of potential severity of the COVID-19 in case they get it. Uh, we will give a corporation a sanitized report that shows sort of a population curve of how many people we think are very high risk of very severe conditions or even dying from COVID-19, and then low risk, so they get a really a good grasp of that population. We'll give um, the organization and individuals and groups access to online content that can be used to help people understand their risks based on the testing we're doing and what they can do to ameliorate risk. And we'll also offer group sessions using professional coaches and uh, members from our staff to address concerns and issues and things that people can do to lower their overall risk if they are exposed and unfortunate enough to get um, the COVID-19 disease, because at the end of the day, staying at work or going back to work is all about staying healthy, having a, a strong immune system, and not getting sick. That's going to put us in a lockdown situation again, and nobody wants that. Beautiful. Okay.